हाय दिस इज चिरंजीवी दिस क्वेश्चन अपील इन डिसम्बर नाइनटीन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सी एस आई आर नेट द क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स वन एंड टू वन रोड दिस रोडियम कॉम्प्लेक्स कैटलिटिकली कन्वर्ट्स मिथेल आइडाइड एंड कार्बन मोनाक्साइड टू मिथेल कार्बोन आइडाइड एंड सेकेंड वन इज दिस रोडियम कॉम्प्लेक्स इज डायमैग्नेटिक इन नेचर द करेक्ट फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग इज फर्स्ट ऑप्शन वन एंड टू आर करेक्ट एंड टू इज एन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ वन एंड सेकेंड वन इज वन एंड टू आर करेक्ट एंड सेकेंड इज नॉट एन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ वन एंड थर्ड वन इज वन इज करेक्ट एंड सेकेंड इज इन करेक्ट एंड फोर्थ वन इज वन एंड टू आर इन करेक्ट ओके सो दिस फ्रॉम दिस फोर ऑप्शन वी शुड पिक अप करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द गिवन प्रॉब्लम ओके दैन okay this rhodium complex this is 14 electron species okay this 14 electron species so by the oxidative addition it tries to get 18 electrons okay so this is stable electronic configuration so that's why this rhodium complex which is 14 electron species through the oxidative addition oxidation oxidative addition it tries to get 18 electrons and by the um, reductive elimination reductive elimination it gets a its original state that is 14 or 16 electronic species rhodium complexes we can get okay so by this process rhodium converts methyl iodide and carbon monoxide forms this one here this carbonyl uh, carbonyl group inserted in methyl iodide so this is done by this rhodium complex so so here rhodium catalytically converts methyl iodide and carbon monoxide into so methyl carbonyl iodide so first option is right one and if you observe the second option so second option is rhodium complex is diamagnetic in nature is it right or wrong we should check it okay so if you check rhodium is 4d contains electronic configuration 4d7 and 5s2 electrons okay and in the given complex so if you observe consider x and carbon monoxide neutral so that's why zero and consider iodine it can minus 1 so we have 2 then equals to minus 1 so from this we can get plus 1 so here rhodium is plus 1 that means it loses one electron so from this we can write 4d7 and 5s1 so this is electron configuration should have so from this we can write d orbital next s orbital and p p1 right so we have seven electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and they have one electron but so when we consider in the 4d and 5d series these are inner d orbitals so they likely to get pairs so whatever the ligands which are present we uh, around uh, these 4d 5d series uh, metals okay that's why the here these electrons likely to get pairs so we can write it like this
so from this the this lone electron also comes to get paired with d electron and from that we can write so this is the final electronic configuration of uh, rhodium plus one so we have this empty orbital it can occupy CO and this is for CO and this is for iodine and this is for another iodine so we have four ligands in the given complex and that's why so from this DSP2 hybridization okay so DSP2 hybridization so from this we can write we can say so rhodium complex the given rhodium complex is diamagnetic in nature these two are correct uh, correct statements which are given in the problem that is so rhodium catalytically converts methyl iodide and uh, carbon monoxide to methyl carbonyl iodide and second statement is this rhodium complex is diamagnetic in nature so these two are right statements but this diamagnetic nature the diamagnetic nature of rhodium uh, doesn't explain the catalytic property of a rhodium complex here to convert methyl iodide and carbon monoxide to methyl carbonyl iodide so this second statement is not actually explaining the first statement so that's why uh, second option one and two are correct but second is not an explanation of one so this diamagnetic property of rhodium is not explaining the um, catalytic property of rhodium hence option two is the right one for the given problem thank you if you like my videos subscribe my channel thank you